welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for choosing me today is a monday and it's the public holiday monday i'm just running some errands today and i thought i should look cute i really look cute in my outfits you know making efforts and change because you only live once and you have your clothes for this lifetime so wear them <laughs> wear them that's my advice wear them so yeah um, I'm also just waiting for my superfluous order um, you know when you don't need them to be early they are your first stop but oh should you need them to come early on that particular day they don't show up yeah I'm just waiting for my order so I'll show you guys what I've got yeah I will just take you through through the week um, please don't forget to watch till the end uh, my out my hours journey is still continuing so I still need the hours and all that so please do watch to the end like comment and subscribe but this week is not office week um, because that has changed or the schedule has changed for for the rest of the year so we'll start again next week yeah not complaining at all I think you know I'm also just a bit disorientated because there are so many holidays in between that like yesterday I wasn't even sure what day it was <laughs> I wasn't even sure what day it was but I hope that I have a good week um, I do feel like I have more energy I do feel so alive I feel so alive and just hopeful and happy I really am happy so thank you guys so much again for the support always really appreciate it and yeah let's have a great week hey guys since we don't have we're not going to work this week i thought i should do our traffic hour chats and these chats are very sponsored by tiktok <laughs> We sit way too long on TikTok and hear people's opinions about things. I bumped into this lady who was talking about, you know, the blurred lines in age when it comes to social media. Because she was talking about, you know, the pressure that she feels as what I calculated to be 23 years old. And she says that when she sees somebody unboxing, you know, a nice bag um or stepping into their new car or their new house and the thing about social media is that there's no there's no indication of how old that person is and she's basically saying google team you see somebody who's 37 who's doing a luxury unboxing that makes sense and when you start when you start processing social media that way it serves you so much better because you're 23 you're looking at somebody who's 37 they have about 14 years of life experience before you it's expected it's expected for them to be doing better or to be affording more and this is just not considering other socioeconomic issues i'm just talking about age in general Uguti, obviously a person who is 10 years older than you 15 years older than you financially should be in a better standing and should be affording bigger purchases than you you do so definitely i agree with that sometimes we look and yearn at people's things and not understand that people had to go through life in order to get to that point and she even made an, a, an example would say some people only drink champagne when they're 30 and that is not a bad thing because that person bought themselves that bottle of champagne when they could afford it right so i think it's quite unfortunate for for the young ones who are growing up deep in social media at least you know it was at the start of social media things were still very innocent you're posting anything that you want um but for a somebody who is a teenager now who's seeing other teenagers who either one come from a wealthy family or two have succumbed to the dark side of life which is you know your lifestyle being funded negatively by 
somebody older and usually that person being of the opposite sex but completely agree with her um it, it's it's important to just filter social media for yourself and allow yourself to view it as entertainment and understand that it might be people's lives but you are consuming it as entertainment it's not um something it's not a, a measuring stick of your progress it's not a measuring stick of your your value um and yeah of your value so it's really important for you to see it that way so that it doesn't drown you you know so very important um, and we say this often about social media but I don't think we practice it because you put yourself in a depressive state because of something that somebody has planned ye years ago <laughs> like they've been putting money away years ago for something that they are getting now and to you it looks like however they just have that money in their pocket NG sitting for them to decide that they want to make that purchase um, and also I do watch Ukuku um, Ukuku Letu on YouTube uh, guys it's so shocking how why are people so entitled it's, if a is going to decide to share how much their product that they bought with their money costs why would you have the gallbladder to go into somebody's DMs to tell them Ukuti why didn't you spend this money on something better? It's Bindi. Hey <laughs> boo, it's Bindi isn't And she's shown us how um, you can save and plan your life and plan your pleasures, you know, and plan for things that you want in your life um, and not always live in debt. So I think it's a lesson out of that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the chat. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I definitely think we need to start watching social media for what it is, which is entertainment and not internalize other people's life decisions and, and think that you're not doing well. Especially when you can see Uguti, this person that you're watching is significantly older than you. And they've worked for a significantly longer amount of years than you so it's really not a reflection of your level of success Usafunda, allow yourself to be a student allow yourself to live a student life um, you're still starting out in your career allow yourself to be an entry-level employee like Fosa you know to buy isn't though that uh, too much might not be worth it so yeah i've been ranting but that's our tiktok sponsored traffic talks we'll have another one next week hey guys so finally my order comes through so let's get unboxing we haven't had an unboxing in a long time so i think let's start with the smaller one um, let's see Ooh, okay um so these are the pants so these are pants that i got from h and m yeah so i have um if you've noticed the tan beige color so i thought let me get another pair of like formalish pants i like that it's sort of linen feel they're not too long i think they'll cut at the ankle which is cool and i really don't have the only other color pants that i have is the the red one so i think this will look nice with other existing items that I have so it is linen, it's a linen blend from H&M what's the size? 36 okay so it does have a bit of stretch and it does feel like it's going to snug at the waist which is pretty cool so yeah, really like it so those are the pants I'll be able to just switch it up at work a little bit um, things can get 
but actually you know what i don't want to complain because it's much better than going to the office every day and having to figure out what to wear every day so then we get to the other box they are promoting s oh i thought I, oh i thought i saw sambas i thought they were promoting sambas but it's nike favorite the favorite part um so this is what we have so i've got two tops i really hope they fit because i'm not sure of the size and this is the the mila brand on superbalist and it's these oh, the, the material actually feels amazing Ooh. It's got the ruching on the side. The the material actually feels really great. I don't even want to lie. I don't even want to lie. It feels great. It's stretchy as well, which I'm really excited about because I was a bit nervous because I took an eight and I was thinking, is it gonna be um, big enough? So it's, it has like a, a droop in the front, very feminine. Oh, I love it. And it actually goes quite well with the blue. I bought it intentionally to match with the different items that I have. Like I'm just trying to um, stretch out my <laughs> my wardrobe. So I got this color and then I also got it in um, a tan color as well. So that, it, you know, you have a bit more versatility with it. Same, same, same feel. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's got a very nice shape. And it'll sit like this. And I'll wear it with uh, like the blacks and the tan pants that I have. Very, very lovely. Very, very lovely. The material does really feel great. I really. So I can't wait to see it on me. Um, I'll definitely maybe it's gonna be next week where I'll actually wear some of the items and you guys will see it when I'm going to work and then last but not least if you guys remember I did say that I do need a new coat so I saw one from H&M so this is sort of like an H&M and Mila haul so we got ourselves a nice winter coat folded quite nicely so it is from H&M let's see what it looks like I really hope it's long um, being a top oh darling it's a medium looks really really thick it looks super thick um, it's so long I'll put it on for you guys so that you guys can see it on me um, this is called double breasted um, I think that's the situation here I really like the colour I do need to invest in a black coat so I don't have a black coat so I think if I do get another one it will definitely be in black and it also has pockets which I'm so so happy about the other pinkish one doesn't have pockets which is a bit of an inconvenience but these these pockets are really cute so let's see it on Okay. It does feel like it's on the biggish side, definitely. Um, but I guess I do prefer it being bigger and us having to make it smaller. It's a medium, which is a bit shocking. Um, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Because 
it looks big <laughs> it looks really big but i like the oversized look i'm just wondering how we're going to put it off but i guess when we have to layer clothes um and maybe once it's ironed as well it'll look a bit more a bit more put together but we can definitely style it we can definitely style it so style it we'll really really style it okay. Super duper excited about the purchases. I'm really impressed with the quality of the tops. Yeah, tomorrow's a working day. Back to reality. Back to school. Back to reality. Um, so let me just prepare for the work week. But at least it's a short work week, and I'll see you guys a bit later. Hey guys, it's happy weekday. <laughs> Don't remember what day it is. I'm stepping out. I'm not going to. Um, one of my little cousins is going to see Tyler. I don't even know what's happening. Um, I think there's, she's doing autographs or something. Um, so I'm just going to go say hi. But it's such a hectic day. You know on the day when you come back from leave and everybody's coming back from leave? That's, that's how it is today. That's how it is. So let me just speed on out. Um, so that I at least can find a place to sit. <sighs> quality so bad i'm so sorry so i can find a place to sit but let me go quickly so i've made it to mall of africa i'm really i just have to find a place to sit because my meeting starts in literally eight minutes that's the amazing race um but let me quickly find a place and then i can just manage the thing i don't even know which part of the mall they're in but let's see a good workout in um it was so full i couldn't take any footage because it was just so full is it just me or is it really rude for somebody to sit on a machine and scroll on their phone during peak hours <laughs> man just like Nancy, you're just waiting for them to move i don't know guys no don't do that do your workouts and go, especially during peak hours. If you're gonna stay longer, then like give us room. So one workout was all I could give um, today, like or this week. It's been such a hectic week at work. Like busy penduka, busy penduka. Um, but we'll pick back up next week. Um, I don't want to just strain myself out. And I just did a lot of driving also. Tomorrow we're going to Mini Dummies Roast at the Santin Convention Center. So hopefully that's going to be nice. It's not um, Comedy Central anymore. It's Love Africa or something like that. But I haven't been hearing any or seeing or hearing any ads about it, which is a bit, you know, concerning a little bit for me. But our food is going to be packed and it's going to be nice, you know. I don't know what I'm going to wear. Uh, that's another thing. But we'll figure it out. We'll make a plan. So I'll take you guys through tomorrow. Uh, but now let me take a shower and get into my evening routine.
guys happy friday i'm getting ready to go to the concert or the comedy show um so i'm just going to show you guys the routine the makeup done and all of that um so really quite excited it's been such a busy day at work today like it's a crazy friday but productive but just quite busy um so i just thought i should wear black and white i'm always wearing black and white I'm just gonna wear my formal pants and one of the tops that I got um, that was in the hall. Yeah, we're just going to wear that. So please don't mind me. I have a mirror on the side. Ooh. <laughs> so what I wanna try to do is oh, get the braids looking a little bit fresher than normal. Um, so I went to this came yesterday and I got this, um, this mousse. I'm hoping that it's going to help lay the edges and give the hair a bit of um, an update. I'm just not sure if I should keep my hair down or, hmm, I'm not sure. But let me just go with my beauty blender and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Let's, let's, yeah, let's try the mousse here first and then we'll do the makeup. Ooh. Come a long way on the channel and today something happened that I think I really really think that the channel is monetized <laughs> the dashboard on the studio is is a bit behind it's like five days behind but I received I just have to fix that I received a strike on the latest episode so I just have to click that and fix that not a strike but they just said it's copyright so I just don't understand how because I've used that music before but I guess it's all part of being educated about YouTube um, and doing better with that research but I do think like we've made it so I'm just waiting for next week to be able to actually confidently say um, we've reached our one of our targets for this year which is getting the channel monetized i'm so excited so once again guys thank you for the support it really really is appreciated i feel blessed i feel so blessed so let's get the makeup done oh the thing about these braids I, 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 the gosh, gosh, I got a gig. But do you think, I think, let me put the, try and put the mousse. I hope it won't tangle it or make it worse. I mean, it's already tangled, but I'm just hoping it won't make it worse. I'm gonna put some mousse on them. Maybe it'll help define the curl more than just pulling it like this. I guess using like human hair does make it better from a maintenance perspective but yo, know, that's just so expensive I mean I guess you can buy a bundle for the purpose of, purpose of braids and you can just keep using it over and over again you don't have to discard of it um, but I just wonder what wig of mine is going to take one for the team I just have to buy new bundles watching uh, people's commentary on that guy who works for KPMG and did the bursary scam thing oh guys Angisa Sabi Angisa Sabi I just spoke about the soft life thing and supplementing your income yo because you I, I don't want to think that some people are or people are only successful because of crime like i really don't want to believe that um but just <laughs> because we are people and we're human beings and we know that things happen in life you just always have to 
you just have not think negatively but just be like okay that person has money great for them but don't let it be a reflection on you because ours you guys the p things that the people uh put themselves through for for money and sucks that this came out and it would suck more as the girlfriend or the wife however do you guys think it would see people like the woman always know i think some don't or like some women already either choose to be ignorant about it or really don't know where that guy gets the money and that would be my worst nightmare because me and I get to go to me and I you were scared mom but guys let me finish up with my makeup and then I'll get dressed I still have a meeting before we leave I really didn't know this show starts at 4 like a 7 guys <laughs> like at four o'clock i just looked at the tickets um and your lisa says she's coming at two and i'm like why would you come at two for something that starts around six i really thought it starts six but that's why i'm a little frantic um so let me just get ready and i'll show you guys the finished look <laughs> So guys this is the finished look i just chose to wear sandals the thought of being in heels sounds like a nightmare so yeah we're in the top that you guys have seen and i'm gonna keep the hair down but yeah i think this is an easy enough look for because we're gonna be sitting down the whole time and just have to look pretty <laughs> we just gotta look pretty Let me take a look. Okay. Welcome to the North Africa Comedy Festival. I'm here with. Who's 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 Today, from today, it's from Kizik. Who Sis Lindy Leg, Nay Pools Owing. Sinasella, it's you, Sigasana. But we're excited, and I got to do the, the funny interview. No, okay, Wasabi. I bombed the interview, but. <laughs> guys, can I tell the truth? <laughs> Benga was my aunt, guys. Benga unprepared. Benga unprepared speech. Benga was my aunt. I think it was out of how many questions? I think it was five. I know it was four. Four. You've got. It was riddles and stuff. I don't know that stuff. You've got zero out of four. Lungi. You're smashing. Like got A for effort. Yeah, yeah. Do that. A for efforts. But okay, we'll show Oh, actually, we're not allowed to show the start of the show. But because of Bamnandi, let's catch As we after breakfast. Hello guys. Hi. Hi guys. Controversy. What are you gonna share about the um, before we go into the dungeon? 
about the, what you to share. the comedy show yesterday? How did you find it? We had fun. It was beautiful. The setting. Um, what else? No, it was well enjoyed. organized. Yeah. It was well organized. Beautiful. It was just. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to start? <laughs> I got so bad for the lawyers. Jesus, we're going to bed. I'm going to tell people that. What time did we leave? Oh, two, two, uh, three a.m. in the no, morning. Half past two. Half past uh, It's three o'clock in the morning. Is the time you yeah, left? Yeah, yeah. The convention Yo, center. We were so exhausted. That's gonna all in all a nice fun. experience. Yeah. So when I get one pass that you to put on TV, I yes. need three months to recover, guys. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, six months. To go back and shave. The good bed. Hey guys, we've come to the end of the video. I just wanted to close out the vlog. I had a good week. Really had a good week. I couldn't record all of the days because uh, work was just hectic this week. I don't want to lie. It was hectic, but um productive like i was working quite a lot and quite engaged but yeah really exciting and ended off the week with uh, the concert so you guys heard our comments and um basically how we felt about it i still really think it was well planned um things were just organized but i think from a time perspective they went way over like there's absolutely no way that that show ends at two o'clock in the morning this can't be. This can't be. Um, so we'll see um, how they are able to edit the show on Show Max. And I guess you just have to like really like comedy to enjoy something like that, and maybe have your favorites um, doing the the shows. It was it was interesting, and it really sucks when you're not gonna do great. Hey, and it, it takes so much, so much let me just say strength to keep going when you're not getting any reception from the crowd like that was painful um it was painful but a really nice show i was really glad that i i went i've never been to a comedy show before but i'm really glad i went um so yeah really nice uh, really nice time so i also just wanted to share with you guys that um i did activate the super thanks so please click on the super thanks thank you auntie joyce for the super thanks i really appreciate it and yeah i'm really so excited about this channel it's really growing and we're getting to our big milestones and it's quite exciting i'm still just waiting to to see the dashboard updates i think i'll see the most updated numbers next week sometime next week so really excited to see um where we are with that but yeah really excited and i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video um and also actually because i did over response on these chairs I can't seem to find anything exactly like this, but I did see that House and Home and Cielo actually have something similar to this, even the color. Um, it's just a different shape of, of the chair, but I think you can find something quite similar um, to this. Yeah, they're quite nice, a nice piece or, or yeah, individual piece uh, for, for the living room. So you can check that out, but let's see each other guys in the next vlog. Tell a friend once again to tell a friend that Spotlight has a channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.